Today's a day I've been waiting for for a long time. I have been waiting months for this day. You've seen the title, you know what's going down. I am very nervous, because at this moment, my hair is obviously, it's dark, she's dark. I got my hair done last September, and salons have been closed since, I think, October or November? I don't know, it's been a very long time. Like, we've had the longest lockdown, <laughs> I think, in all of North America. It's a little wild. So, let's take a good look at my hair right now. Let's just, let's all observe. So, first of all, we have these front layers that are nice, light, bright, I'm happy with them. But then you can see all of this, like, you can't even see it because of the dark shirt, is so dark. It kind of looks like my hair is just short. Like, if you kind of squint your eyes a little bit, it looks like my hair is to here, right? I have all of this long hair, like, I can't believe how long my hair actually she has, has grown. She's long again, and I love that. I, I don't want to cut any length, but I do want to lighten up the under layers like a lot. I have been wanting to go lighter for a couple months now, especially for like summer. I really just want light hair. It's kind of the fun part of the seasons, switching it up. But if I'm being completely honest, I'm actually quite nervous about it. I haven't had my hair light in a long time. Like the last time my hair was really, really light was 20. Camera cut me off right there. Last time I was light, I think it was like sometime in 2019. Like definitely two years ago. So I'm just nervous. I'm really used to having overall darker hair now, but I've been wanting to go light. So I just gotta do it. I gotta try it. If I don't like it, it's just hair and I can go darker again if I want to. For those of you that might wonder how I'm doing this, because salons are actually still closed here, which is absolutely absurd. The things that have been opened before salons is almost upsetting to me because I feel so horribly for salons that are doing everything right and following every safety precaution, like the salon that I went to in September, they were only having like one person in per day, like it was as safe as possible. So it just like makes me sad for them. But anyways, it's not my place to comment on the rules. They are what they are. But as of two weeks ago, Ontario is now allowing up to five people to get together outside, which is really, really nice. I'm very, very thankful for that. Any slim bit of normalcy like I'm here for. Now, with all of that being said, my mom actually has a friend who has been out of work since November. Since we're allowed to be outside with up to five people, they actually offered to do my hair outside so that I could get my hair done and I could give them business. It's just... It's all whack, it's all crazy. So that is what's going down today. I am excited. So I'm gonna go ask for a balayage and really put emphasis on the fact that I want the under layers light. I still definitely wanna keep a lot of darkness on the top of my head, like I want my roots dark. I do not want full blonde, that is for sure not what I'm looking for, but I want a lot of this light, like keep it dark, money pieces, and light. And then afterwards, I think I'm meeting up with Carter Matthew, my cousins, in downtown, and we're just gonna roam around or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. That is the plan as of right now. I have to get my shit together, and then we're gonna go. I can't believe I'm doing this today. It feels like so far-fetched because it's been like, like a far-off dream for months and months and months of getting my hair done that I don't even really feel like this is gonna happen today. <sighs> Last looks. Here is my hair. 360. Okay. Okay. We're on the way. How are you feeling? I'm excited for you. I'm so I'm really nervous. excited. She's been wanting me to do this longer than I've been wanting to do this. When I first got my hair done, when I got back here, she was like, go light, go light. And I was like, I kind of want to go dark, but I couldn't commit to going full dark. So we ended up with something in between. And now that it's summertime, you, you gotta go light. Yeah. I'm so nervous. Also, yeah. I will not vlog there because uh, her friend's not really comfortable being on camera, which is 100% fair. So I will vlog afterwards, but I'll, I'll give you the whole lowdown. It's Wish gonna me be luck. amazing. Ah! Ready? I'm ready! Oh my god, Tara looks stunning! Thank you! It it's looks exactly what you wanted! I know, it's exactly what I wanted. Yay! I feel so good! Fresh hair is the best. The best version of me is me with fresh hair. She's fresh, she's lighter. The underneath layers are light, which is what I wanted. We got a little trimmy trim. So my hair is now even, it's cut, it's it's good. Honestly, it feels super healthy. She cut like some beachy layers into there, which just goes with my natural texture. We have a little money piece in the front. Kept it nice and dark throughout here, so that's what I wanted. But the bottom is light, the front is light again. I feel refreshed. 
feel good. I am happy. I'm just so thankful that they were able to do my hair in their backyard. They're good people. They're really good people. And I just feel so sad that they have not been able to work since like November. It just really makes me so sad. So yeah, but I'm just very, very grateful that they were able to do it. This is exactly kind of what I was looking for. I didn't want something too light and bright. Didn't want like anything crazy. I feel like this is like just the perfect, perfect color. But obviously I'm home and I am so hungry because I was there for like five hours. So I'm gonna make some food now. I actually sadly had to cancel on Carter and Matthew. They were not happy with me, but I was like, guys, what's the girl to do? She's busy, she's working. I have a lot of work to do. Tomorrow's gonna be a super busy day. Just like a million things going on. So I'm gonna be working late tonight just to get ahead of it so that I'm not, I, I'm already pretty stressed. So I'm a little, I'm a little tense right now. I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna make dinner because I don't think I can think straight <laughs> without eating right now. So we're gonna make some food. I'm actually gonna make some milk. It looks really good. I did get my HelloFresh box. Thank you, HelloFresh. We love you. And we're making gnocchi, which you know is always a good night. Yes. This I think is gonna be really good. Spring gnocchi cacio e pepe. I'm, I'm probably saying that wrong. Look how good this looks. It says 25 minutes, veggie. I get the veggie plan, you guys know. But they also have like their family plan and also like a regular plan that has meat options. But I personally like their veggie plan. They have so many good recipes. I honestly, I have loved every single recipe I've ever tried from HelloFresh. And I'm really excited to try this one because it seems right up my alley. Okay, fresh cutting board. I have not undone my dishes or un undone. I haven't taking out my dishes. I'm really hungry. So as you guys know, it comes in a bag. Everything is pre-portioned, which is great because there's less waste, less prep. It's nice that it just takes like the pressure out of figuring out what the heck to make because you get your recipes and then you have all the things for them already. The recipes are all like relatively quick, like around 30 minutes. And with the subscription, you can actually change out which delivery days you have. So if a day doesn't work for you or if you're just like not into one of the recipes, you can just skip that week and then get the next week. It's really, really easy. Okay, that's all the things. We have all of these yummy veggies. This this is gonna be so good, I already know. I have the gnocchi in the fridge and we're gonna start to cut up some of the stuff. Oh! I obviously need a bigger pan. That is on the list of things to buy when I move. Cause this is just not cutting it. It's a little small. <laughs> There are no words for how excited I am to eat this. It looks so good and it was really fast to make. Like this was speedy. I know it's gonna be insane. The veggies are asparagus and peas and uh, I am ready. Cheers. They've done it again. They've done it again. Every recipe, freaking delicious. On top of that, they're just an incredible company. Like I am so thankful that I get to work with them every month. They're amazing. Throughout the last year, they've just been so committed to making sure everything is as safe as possible for their employees, for the customers. It gets delivered right to your door, fresh food. It's the best. It is the best. Mmm. It tastes so good. So good. Big fan. Oh, look at that cheese. Mmm. What's going on? Is everything okay? Also the sweats, they did come on. I'm waiting for an announcement. Yummy. I am pouring this up because I have a very long work night ahead of me. And that is why I'm sitting on the balcony eating dinner. I'm not watching TV tonight. Also I'm mixing this rosé with this strawberry coconut sparkling water that I got. It's really good. You guys know me and my combos. It's really weird that... Yummy. I guess nothing urgent, I don't know. Cheers. I'm gonna go back outside. Back to my yummy dinner. Just uh, me and you guys having a nice lovely little date. Hope you have some wine or maybe a coffee if you're watching this in the morning. Probably shouldn't drink wine before you go to work, but I cheers you already. That was a double cheers. I have a lot, a lot to do tonight and I don't really know where to start, but I knew I had to start with food. That, that I knew for sure. As always, I do have a code for HelloFresh that you guys should definitely take advantage of. If you go to hellofresh.com and use the code TaraMichelle12, you will get 12 free meals plus free shipping. A good deal. Highly recommend trying it for yourself. You will not regret it. Okay, I'm going to just scroll through TikTok really fast, eat this, and then I'm gonna get to work. All right, guys, it is now 10.45, 10.45, I think. And I am uh, getting tired, but I still have like a bit of work to get done before I can call it. So I'm actually gonna bring my laptop to bed, my hard drive and work in bed. I have not done that in so long because I really try to avoid bringing work into bed these days. I used to do it all the time and it's just, I, 
I like to have the separation, but I just really want to get cozy. I want to be able to shut the computer as soon as I'm done and then go to sleep. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to make my tea now, getting ready. But I'm actually just going to pick this vlog up in the morning because I got to I gotta get back to it. <laughs> I'll probably wrap up around midnight, which is still like fine. I'll be up at eight tomorrow and that's a good eight hours. So anyways, hope you guys are having a lovely day whenever, what time you're watching this. Actually, let me know in the comments what time it is when you're watching this, wherever you live and where you live. Just would love to see it. <sighs> okay, see you in the morning. Oh no! Well, I've weirdly been doing a lot of spilling of things lately. Like my coordination is very off. Also, good morning. Try that again. I actually haven't put my toffee nut syrup, like this thing, into my coffee, I don't think. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Yummy. Good morning, friends. Hope your day is still going well. You know, spoke to you for you like two seconds ago. For me, that was like 10 hours ago. But we're up and it's raining. But my day is starting with some more work, as my days usually do, you know? I do work. Also, I was just looking in the mirror and I was looking at my lovely little outfit here. I throw on the most random things before I go to sleep. I mean, like, look what I'm wearing. I got neon sweatpants with, like, a big charcoal sweater. It's just, like, a, a random vibe. I don't usually wear, like, a matching little PJ set. I have a ton of them and they're so cute. For some reason, I usually end up wearing mismatched randomness. Please tell me if you can relate. I would love to be one of those people that just like always wears a matching set to bed. Like I feel like that's a whole different level of got my shit together. Even though that would not at all equal someone having their shit together, but some sense of having their shit together. <sighs> it is 9 a.m. and I gotta get some editing done this morning. I got like a long list for today. I wanna get as much done as possible before 1 p.m. cause at one I have a meeting at the house for my blinds because i'm gonna have automatic blinds in my living room and also in the kitchen so we're meeting with the blind guy and we're gonna i think go through swatches and see like what kind of blinds i want i'm really excited actually i just don't really know what i want to do for the blinds but i guess we'll talk to the professional and we'll see then i have blind dating today because it's thursday we're actually recording an episode that's like a new york based episode all the other episodes have been la episodes and we got new york we got the east coast so this one's a little bit earlier in the day which is kind of nice for me and then i want to go back to the house at the end of the day to see if they've done any painting because i think that's happening today and i gotta get that footage also for the update video that's gonna go up on friday by the time this is live that's already live so i'll link it down below so that's kind of what's going on right now i'm gonna get to it and i'll pop in whenever i can this is just gonna be like a little a little pop in vlog okay i will see you guys uh in a little bit okay popping in we have some leftover lunch we love got my gnocchi from last night mm. Kind of cold. It is currently 12.30. Let me turn my music off. 12.35. I think I'm leaving in like 10 minutes to go over to the house to go have that meeting with the blinds dude. Oh, that was hot. Okay, but anyways, I will let you know when I'm heading out and then when I'm back, I'll have blind dating. So I feel like I'm just like, go, 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 go. like on hyperspeed right now. Got me cheese. Okay, we're on our way to the house and uh, we're gonna have a little meeting. Okay guys, I just got home and I have 10 minutes until my call. We have the pre-recording call at 2.30 and then we have the actual recording at 3. So I got 10 minutes to like look at my computer and see what's going on since I, I've been gone. It was a nice hour meeting. It was actually really cool, really fun to look through all the options and uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm just a little nervous to see the price, if I'm being honest. But it was really cool being over there and like seeing the guys working on it. They were sanding down the walls, which means I think they'll start painting tomorrow. Okay, I gotta go. Hello. Hello, hello, how are you? You guys, my apartment is so disgusting right now and I cannot, I cannot lie to you. I've had no time to clean and it's driving me insane. Like it's ugh. just shit everywhere and there is no storage in here whatsoever. Like nothing. There's like nowhere to put anything and I need to find time to clean and I just feel so busy right now. Okay, I got two minutes until the recording and then I have some editing to do. I wanna finish editing two videos. Okay, I have one minute. I gotta pull up all my stuff so I will talk to you in an hour. You guys, it's been so long since we've talked. I don't even know the last thing I told you. It's currently 
10.15, I just finished working and I have like such a headache. I've just been staring at the screen all afternoon. So I had my episode. It ended super weird. We've never had an episode end this way. It was very awkward. <laughs> I didn't really know how to handle it, but it all worked out. And then right after that, I went back to the house to go record stuff for Friday's video. And then I came back here and I've been working since then, but I haven't had dinner yet. I actually posted on my Instagram story, which if you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. I'm gonna have a link down below. My username is just I'm Tara Michelle. But I posted at like nine o'clock saying I was still working and I got so many DMs from you guys being like, but did you eat yet? So sweet, you guys look it out for me. No, it's a no, I have not. So I'm feeling hungry, I'm feeling tired. I just, I need to eat. I really just had a lot of work that I wanted to do before the weekend. I'm actually going on like a little road trip to Muskoka tomorrow, which I'm really, really excited about, but we're going around like two in the afternoon. So I wanted to make sure that tomorrow morning is not deeply stressful trying to like get a whole bunch of stuff done so it's a really weird thing having the world kind of reopen and i'm i'm so used to just like focusing so much on work and like getting things done exactly on time and everything like that that it's weird now to try and figure out how i'm going to balance social life things are getting more and more normal all the time and just thinking about how am i gonna fit it all in like i really don't know it's definitely a little overwhelming actually jill posted something recently on she posted a vlog talking about how she's overwhelmed with it just like getting back into plans and seeing people and being social and how it's it's just weird after like the last year plus. <laughs> Obviously like I've seen people and I've gone out, but it's weird having it kind of ramp up quickly. It's just a little overwhelming, honestly. I feel like the balancing act is just it's just off, but I've managed to get a good amount done. Feel good. I am going to wake up extra early tomorrow though, just to get more done. I really want to do a deep clean before I leave for the weekend, just so I come back and it's not the shit show that it currently is. But guys, I'm going to heat up more of the leftovers, like the same thing I had for lunch, same thing I had for dinner last night. Thank God for leftovers because when it's 10, 15, you don't really want to sit down and start cooking a whole ass meal. Okay guys, I am going to end the vlog here. I gotta... I gotta start winding down. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. I'm so excited to have some fresh hair, fresh cut. It's just it's clean, it's refreshed. I feel good. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you guys are doing well. You guys are the absolute best. And I will see you guys on Wednesday with the next vlog. Bye.